Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Wayne. What does it look like to see someone for the last time? Well, when it comes to a legend and an icon like John Wayne, it can be pretty eye-opening. When you see this final photograph of John Wayne, you are immediately reminded of all the good times, of seeing him ride off on horseback. A little something extra. Or fire off some shots at some baddies from the hip. You're gonna have a long winter bellyache, you boob. But you also see just how much things have changed. We'll get back to this photo in a bit, but that's not all we have to reveal for you today. As we take a look at John Wayne in his final film, as well as what he wore under his suit in his final ever public appearance. Before we begin, if you dig our video, please hit that thumbs up for us. It really helps us out in a big way and we really appreciate it. And make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't get left behind. Now let's take a look at one of our most iconic Hollywood stars and what their farewell really looked like behind the scenes as we go find out. What, what happened? happened? The Shootist. About three years before John's death, he would go about providing his faithful fans with a proper film farewell. The movie, titled The Shootist, would find its way into theaters in 1976 and would be what many consider his most vulnerable project yet. In the movie, John plays an aging gunslinger who is dying of cancer and trying to find a way to come to terms with it. The film is considered by many fans to be his best, and in many ways it is because of just how close to the subject John was. Can't you cut it out, Doc? I'd have to gut you like a fish. The movie star had seen friends and family pass from the disease his whole life, and he did this film with them in mind. John wears his heart on his sleeve for almost the duration of The Shootist, and it's a big reason why the movie is still talked about to this day. Now, being able to walk away on your own terms is a giant accomplishment in acting, as well as other careers. And it is an honor that John Wayne was fortunate to receive. Audiences got to enjoy watching him grow up and mature right before their very eyes. So it was pretty awesome for everyone to be able to properly salute his service to them. Wayne, too, got to close the book on his own legacy, as well as help out some younger actors and get more eyes on them. All in all, The Shootist is a fun final chapter in Wayne's incredible acting career and is just about as perfect of a bow as you can put on a resume that includes iconic films like True Grit and The Searchers. Sadly, just three years after the film was released, John would lose his own battle with cancer. John himself had also been battling a form of cancer for nearly a decade before he finally succumbed to it. And so, he knew as well as anyone how to deliver a gritty and grounded performance in The Shootist. A proud man to the end. Now with that part of his life behind him, John was left to focus on things like legacy and family rather than anything involving his acting. He began to distance himself from his friends in the movie business and would make his final public appearance just three years after the shootist released. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Wayne. John's final appearance was about as big as it gets and was a way for him to steal the spotlight one final time. It was April 9th, 1979, just months before his death, and John Wayne marched onto the stage at the 51st edition of the Academy Awards. He was there to give out the best picture, Fans of his noticed he looked incredibly thin. He had lost a lot of weight as a result of the disease. So, in an effort to appear like the strong and burly man he once very much was, he wore a wetsuit underneath his tux. John felt like this gave him the extra padding and rounded him out better. It's an example of how proud John was, that even after being away from the entertainment industry for almost three years, he wished his friends and colleagues to remember him like he was all those years before, not how cancer made him look. John of course did not want people's pity, and he wasn't overly heartbroken about his fate, at least according to those that spent time with him in those final months. The Duke took it all with class and dignity, 
which was also why the public had seen so little of him recently. It was a pretty awesome night, and an incredible gesture of how far John would go to protect what people thought him to be. Something more than a man, more than an actor, but also a symbol of hope and will. John Wayne is the United States of America. A lot of people know about John's final appearance, especially since it took place in one of the most widely watched events of the year. But what was John going through behind the scenes? And what were his final days like when he didn't have to pretend to be a former version of himself? For that, we take one more look at John Wayne's final photo as we attempt to piece it together. The Final Picture John Wayne's final photo, at least what is widely regarded to be his final photo, is not all that spectacular. It portrays John looking even thinner than he appeared at the award show, smiling and talking to someone off screen. John is wearing a knit sweater and a white baseball cap that now seems to be too big for him. In many ways, it doesn't even look like John Wayne, at least not the guy we all know and love from the pictures. But there was more to John Wayne than a lot of us ever got to see. And in a lot of ways, that's the John in that photo. For those that don't know, John was often described as having a tough exterior but also a very sensitive side that he mostly saved for his family and loved ones. In John's final days, he was almost never alone in that hospital bed. Nurses and doctors attempted to strengthen his condition, but John was simply too weak to fight back against the cancer at that point in his life. Famously and tragically, his last words were to his daughter, who worried that John didn't even recognize her at that point. He reassured her that of course he did, he loved her, and then passed away shortly after. That version of John Wayne, the one in the photograph, didn't care about inspiring the world to be brave, or about his legacy as one of Hollywood's biggest actors. No, the version of John that shows up in that photograph is happy just to smile to someone that we as outsiders never see. And in many ways, that is why John's final photograph is so special and unique. Because it captures the man in a light that almost none of us were lucky enough to witness. The John that we all knew last appeared at the Oscars, where he triumphantly walked off stage and out of our lives for the final time. It truly was a fitting curtain call to a legend and to someone who advanced the film industry forward so much. Now John's final photograph may not mean quite as much to us because we don't have the proper context to appreciate it. But it is nice for John Wayne, the man, to have a goodbye as well as the actor. The Duke's legacy is so definitive these days that it can be a lot of fun to try and put yourself in that headspace. To them, John was much more than a gunslinger or a movie star, but also just a genuine inspiration. Cowboy movies back then were like the superhero movies today, and John Wayne is a huge part of why the genre still produces big blockbusters all these years later. Although it can be bittersweet to think about the final chapters in a legendary actor's life, it's also pretty nice to see how beloved and cherished John Wayne was in his final years, in his final days. This was a man who got standing ovation after standing ovation for just appearing before a crowd, and who also had family by his side at all hours. It's never easy to talk about this kind of stuff, but knowing John got the send-off he deserved is a pretty dang good feeling. Thank you so much for watching with us today. For all you John Wayne fans out there, what is your favorite moment from his incredible career? Give me his best movie, his best role if that's not the same. And is John Wayne the greatest western star of all time? Get in the comments and reminisce. If you enjoyed today's tribute, please give it a thumbs up to help the video circulate subscribe to the channel, and come back often so we can keep telling you what happened.